The Undesigned A6 Max with its only 235 grams of weight is a featherweight, but with heavy numbers. The key features are a 6-inch IPS monitor, a vivid touch screen, an external install plate power, and a sun shade. Yes, the A6 Max is a really interesting film model, used for many situations and with a price super super nice. The A6 Max is a 6 inch IPS touch screen model with an aspect ratio of 16 to 9 and a brightness of 450 CD square meter contrast ratio of 1000 to 8 to 1 and a view angle of 80 degrees. Then there are two HDMI plugs, one for input and one for output, and two power plugs, one for input, a 5V USB Type-C plug, and one for output, DC output, and finally a stereo headphone plug. Speaking about the resolution, this monitor can manage up to 4K thanks to the HDMI interface, even though the native, uh, the native resolution is only full HD. Anyway, let's see the main menu of the monitor. You can enable or disable the menu using the specific button or tapping twice the screen. The menu has six options. The first icon, a mountain with a sun, refers to waves management where basically you can show on or off with form, vector and histogram, as well as focus assist and the audio management. You know, waveforms, vectors and histograms are super useful for to understand how is your images and video as well. With them, you will be able to check out if an image or a video has the right disposition or if there is a color casting or if you are clipping highlights or crushing shadows. So using the menu, you can decide which option to enable or disable, or if you want to see altogether. The focus axis is a really useful option. Actually, the modern mirrorless camera already have this option, but using it with a bigger model is much more better and allows you to be more precise when you are focusing. Furthermore, can be changed the core use during the focus axis. And the last set option is the audio meter lever shown on the left side of the screen. From the second icon, a big plus on black, black background, you can show many functions, like the 9 grid, the useful in photography, but the most important things are the safe frame and the ratio makers. With these two options, you can choose which aspect ratio to use in your footages. Okay, pay attention, the A6 Max monitor doesn't record anything, but it shows you only a maker in the screen, just as a reminder. But at least you are aware I will be the final result after editing. Then there are two other small options, like a center maker across in the center of the screen and the thickness of the makers from 1 to 7. 4, 2, 4, 10, 11, uh, 13 to 9, 14 to 9, 15 to 9, 16 to 9. And this one is unknown for me. <laughs> Maybe are for uh, for cinematographic uh, recording. Okay, I think the most use is uh, four to three or sixteen to nine. The biggest one, I think. Okay, let's remove the safe frame. Basically, is uh, it's a delimiter of the of the view. The mark color, okay, red, green, blue, nice, nice. Oh, 
oh, okay. This is how uh, how thick will uh, will be drawn the the box, the mark. Uh, yes, the maker, the maker, ma maker, maker. And this one. Background. Oh, okay. It looks like he's uh, hiding the, the background uh, of the of the maker. So with four, it's completely black. The next icon is a magnifying glass from which you can set different options like the aspect ratio, the scan mode between underscan and overscan the anamorphic uh, aspect or the zoom mode as well as to flip the screen nine full screen oh nice backlight over scan under scan over scene under scene Image flip. <laughs> nice. I think this is very useful when you want maybe the monitor is put in the other side. So this way you can The following icons is really interesting because we speak of loots. In this section, you can change which loots to use. Currently, there are four different loots S log 2, S log 3, log C, and Bull log, but you can add more loots. After copying the 3D loot, File to a USB disk and inserting it into the USB plug using the adapter, you can import your loots for a maximum of 50 items. Furthermore, you can change color temperature or you can change every single RGB channel, as well as the big light, brightness, contrast, saturation, and so on, so on, so on. So you have a complete control of the screen. And to put the camera. So, S log 2, X log 3, log C, O log. Oh, interesting. Okay. So, we've got the loot inside the monitor. Really nice, big light. Okay, switch on. Call temperature. User. Wow. Actually, I can change every single um, value of red, green and blue or I can uh, choose one of these the second last there's the setting option like volume, backlight, language or firmware update and finally the last item is for setting the F1 and F2 function buttons very useful to set the most used function ok guys with this short overview you will have understood that A6 Max Moto is an interesting product, but I want to try it in the field. So let's go outdoor. Here we go. And, and now it's time to, uh, to try in the field the and design uh, A6 Max. That looks in my Alpha A9 like that. With the sun shield. It looks amazing. And the screen.
mean the monitor is really really nice, really bright. Now I'm gonna try some uh, specific function for the um, uh, I mean the focus picking uh, because I want to try uh, a little of macro photography the, with the uh, 20 to 70 under millimeters lens f4 uh, I'm gonna try to photograph uh, those uh, beautiful yellow flowers flowers. As you can see, the, uh, this monitor is really useful. You can uh, um, zoom in or zoom out, uh, pinching the screen itself to see better. Uh, uh, to see better, and you can uh, check out the Instagram or the um, waveforms in order to understand how is your exposition. And now I can say that the exposition is quite balanced. And this is the final result. Here we go. Well guys, it's time to make a conclusion. And the first thing that comes to my mind is that this model worth the price it costs for about 117 euros and those specific features. This model is really nice and can be used in many situations. As a nature photographer, I really appreciated the sunshade when I was under the sun for having a better view and I appreciated their lightness even with the metal support attached to the camera. With the A6 Max, checking out the perfect focus or highlights during a video is super simple and looks make it a perfect mate for a videographer. Furthermore, the A6 Max can be upgraded, so I hope and design will add some new feature, even though it's now pretty good. Well, let me know what you think about it and don't forget to give me a like, just to motivate me to go further. Furthermore, I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel, as always, it's free. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.